What's up, guys? No procrastination. I'm Daniel. <coughs> I'm Brian. What episode are we on? We're on seven. Seven? Seven. Yeah, yeah. Is... Right, so we're moving fast. Yeah, we're about to get to ten real quick. We're getting into the shit. We're getting into the music. Yeah. Two chains at Solange. I ain't slapped the little skies yet, but two chains is two chains is pretty solid. Let's go into two chains real quick first. Two chains is solid. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think this might be his best so far. Really? Really. We'll I think. About. I don't know. Would you would you would you rate it? I give it like as, a seven and a half like to be a honest. First impression, like I'm gonna just throw a number out there because I haven't really thought about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll probably come back in a week and say my like official, but yeah. as a first impression, for sure, give it like eight. Yeah, give like it maybe eight close, half, close to an eight. Yeah. Really um, like, well, let me see what songs are really. I really want to. I'll get into the A and R Braun later, but I really want to know which tracks he actually. Like, did he actually A and R on this, or was this just? Chain like said, a, Chain. Uh, he did an interview with Breakfast Club, and he named a couple that. Uh, really? Yeah, that yeah, Braun picked. I was trying to hear. I was like, "Was it Did uh, it caught me by surprise that it was gonna be like grown up chains. It was some really grown, yeah, yeah. But it was so cool. Like I really liked it, bro. Like on the, on the last the last song, Sam, I think it was called. Yeah, Sam was dope. The taxes. Where he used the he used that UGK sample. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was yeah, using yeah. samples all over. Was, it was dope. He used, he makes two samples in this one ugly ass song. I forgot what it was. He used, uh, uh, the Lucifer one or the Dead President one. Yeah, that one. He used, but he used the in the beginning. He used that song that Ariana Grande used also, in her new song where she uh, raindrops um, and roses, whatever. I think I know what you're talking about. I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that sample at all because he mixed it too. It sounded a little ugly. How do you feel about Ninth Ninth Wonder song, the uh, Threat to Society? Uh, yeah. Is the second song album like that? Oh yeah. yeah bro, uh, I was surprised to see that one. Bro, I didn't know bro, he, bro. he like messed with Ninth like that. I, th- I think my favorite track is is Statue. Statue of Limitations and uh, Money on the Way. Money on the Way, hard, bro. Money I, on the Way. I, so, so like the, I love like the positive like the beats, like the. Is that the? I think I know you're talking oh, about. Yeah, it's like third third track on the album. How do you feel about Statue of Limitation though? That f- that f- one. <laughs> why why you say everybody's name on it though? I don't know, but <laughs> bro, that little bro the people pe- the people at Kyle, he got he named Lil John, Ti, Young Thug, yeah, Fifty. Yeah, yeah, he named hella. He named Allen Iverson, Charles yeah. Barkley. Yeah. He put Jay Z Wayne, Stephen ja- Stephen Jackson. I was like, bro, it's what? Going in, bro. You think he che- you think he checked in? He for sure checked in. <laughs> you think he asked? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I for feel sure. like Chance would be the type to be like, nah. No, just be, no, I don't think he asked. But he's just like, I'm gonna use your I'm gonna use your name. I'm not asking for permission. I'm just using it. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That song that song was hard though. Little, I think when I heard that piano, I was like, damn. My favorite song was uh no, I really like the uh the chorus. The the chorus to that one, the oh, Statue no, of Limitations. Limitation? Yeah. Uh, He's like, uh, so lip. yeah, lick, and you, can, you, can you run just run your, check a, yeah, you just run your lip. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my first song was NCAA. NCAA. I like the his little guitar solo. I thought he was like, he play, said, when he said he was, he like, was like, like, I played like, I played, I played with the clip like, 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 like guitar. guitar. And and I, heard like, it after, I was like, oh, I was like, two J's. <laughs> I was like, that's hard. Yeah, I liked that. <laughs> um, Ty Dolls, and that Ty Dolls sign cheat code is uh, legit. It's real. I don't know. I mean. Like Ty Dolla Sign has a voice that like I'm getting kind of tired of hearing. Really? He's, he's on a bunch kinda, of features. That's why. I know that's why he's just oh, he's, bro, he's all over. And it's true, the cheat code like real talk. You got like a smooth sounding beat. Throw Ty Dolla Sign. Yeah, Dolls you throw Ty on it. Like, it's gonna. It's, it's gonna. Be, it's going It's gonna be a hit. But like for me, like I don't know. I'm getting sick of hearing his voice. Bro. What about uh? I was surprised to see Forty on it. Oh, E Forty. Yeah. With the Lil Wayne also. Mm-hmm. That one? Yeah. Damn, he says something. Two dollar bills sound like a little bit Barry though to me. And then I, I, like, I realized I like, then I realized it was mustard on the beat. And I, I was like, like, I like that makes was mustard? Sense. Yeah. Oh, damn. You even heard a little bit of YG on that. Oh, I think my least favorite song was the chance one for sure. I hate that one. Yeah. I hate it. Like, it was, so, I, was somebody else featured on that, I think? Kodak. Kodak. Kodak's, was, ver- Kodak's verse was alright. That that song in the uh, in Whip with Travis Scott, I skipped immediately. Really? I'm sorry. I'm, I I could I could handle the whip. I can uh, handle. Bro, whip. Aren't you getting tired of hearing Travis's like his hums and auto tune? Like, that's what's pissing me off at this point. Uh, not anymore. As soon as he comes on, a, you know when Travis is on a song because as soon as his part is about to start, he'll go mm, like, but in his auto tune, and then it's getting annoying to me, bro. Like I'm fools all over the place. Like, I'm getting tired of him being on features. Like I need to but yeah, yeah. I mean, it was getting. I was getting annoyed when he was uh right before um what you call Astro World came out. And everyone was just borrowing his sound, and everyone was kind of mimicking it. Yeah, it was a yeah. lot of and just. But yeah, I prefer Travis being featured than like it being mimicked, like his sound. I get what you mean, but I still I don't know. I'm getting getting really tired of his hums, bro. I'm trying to get some petty. Static, so static. Uh, go like that was on it too. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, I seen uh, that. Yeah. It was, it was overall. It was a- 
So you you don't mess with R and B A and R Braun? Damn, you're because hater. I don't. I feel like it's just front. Like I feel you're like like it's nah, like, Chan, Chan said he paid him like straight up like uh to actually do it and everything. But he said Braun came on like midway. And then yeah. I felt really bad though. Uh, Charlamagne asked Chance uh, why uh, why he didn't get Jay Z on it, because you know he has Damn. that bar. He's like the this would this would sound good with Jay Z on it, yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And then Hope said, "Nah, just wait till the next one." Damn. So he did ask Hope. Yeah, apparently. And then oh, he, said, nah. Damn, he said, "Nah." Damn, Hope rejected him. Yeah, he said, "Nah." What the hell? He said, "Nah, next one." <laughs> That's all the I know, right? He messed with the beat, then for sure, it was for sure some he messed with. He was like, about Solange, how do you feel about that? Um, not not the biggest, <coughs> the biggest Solange fan. She's yeah. cool, but like, like I said, like I don't think she makes like any timeless music where it's like ten years down the road we're gonna go back and look back. You know what I mean? I think I, I hardly seat really at the it. table was really good though. Seat at the table was good. Seat at like the it. table was it's really good. Really good. I think that's her classic. But this one was like, eh. her, like yeah. But it was this good. one, it was good. It was good. I thought it was nineteen songs. I thought it was gonna be a long ass nineteen. And then I realized it was like forty minutes. I was yeah. Like, all right, because she had like four she had songs six like, interludes, six inter, yeah. And then she had like hella songs that were just a minute long. Just, I think they were. I feel like they were just fillers, just like I was like, you damn. Know what I mean? like, and the very first song kind of got me pissed. Like after a while, but the things I imagined, she just had the thing, the whole song, and it was just like, uh. but yeah, it's so long. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, I get what you mean by it's not like timeless anymore. Yeah. And the, the, like I said, the very first song, like she just said the same thing over and over. I did like her features over. though, like uh, it, <laughs> like it didn't even really start until way to the show. I like way to way to the show was like perfect. I that was a really good song for me. <coughs> just stop being in the car right now. Which is good. That's what I mean. Like she has that, and then there's like Stay Flow, the Metro song. I like the. Uh, I don't know why people were hyping up that uh that Cardi song. Which one? <coughs> the one with Playboy. Of the Playboy For real. vocals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, what? I, I hate Playboy, bro. I'm sorry. Damn, really? Yeah, I don't really. I don't, Damn, why? No, I don't know, bro. I don't, he, he just ain't it for me. Like, I don't hate him. I think he's funny. He, like, yeah, he's fun. His, like, his music is funny. Yeah, like, it's fun. not nothing that I take. Do you take his music seriously? Like, no, but that's yeah, what that's like, what I mean. Like, just, yeah, I just don't take it seriously. Cause, it's fine. Yeah. It's fun. I don't even feel like like he probably. I don't know. He probably doesn't have his. Whole, like hard in like the rap scene, like uh, he just does it for fun. Okay, I get that. Money, you know, it doesn't feel like he's actually like, you know? maybe. I don't feel know. like he's actually trying to like. Get it looks like he's just enjoying himself yeah, with it, having fun with it, which is cool. Yeah, uh, I totally thought when I was saying like all the hype on the song, I thought it was gonna be like, you remember that song? Do you remember hearing "Summer Bummer"? That <laughs> Lana and Cardi song. Summer Bummer. Yeah, it was Lana and Cardi. No. I thought it was gonna be like that since like they're both like, singing. Like a, just like was like a banger. It was cool. It was a cool, it was a cool, a cool little bang. But <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was gonna be something like that. But yeah, but nah. Cause she, people were like, "This has never been done." She let you down. People were like, "It's never been done." She let you this down. Isn't that. Disappointed. Nah, <laughs> I just I don't know. I do, I do. I would say though, Salon. It is like an. It was one of her experimental albums. But so. why? Doesn't she, didn't she do the same? That's what I'm album? saying. Nah. What? Like singing wise, I'm saying. Like, all nah. the things that are, it sounded pretty much the same. The, the, the sound no. like it was pretty much the same. A little bit. Like some rain music. Like some music you slap in the rain. Like, like no, real talk. Like, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, I mean, kind of. Nah. I mean, I would say it, sound, it does sound different. Mm. Like, she's like, especially on that Metro song where he throws in some 808s oh, in saw, there. I saw yeah, like, stuff like that. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I don't know. Overall, I mean, I'm, I mean, I did like it. I'd give it like an 8. Damn. But. I'd probably give it like Seven. Just because it sounds good, but okay, I'm pretty I'll, sure if I looked into it and dug in how much yeah. she actually says, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'll, I'll, probably be a little I'll lower. Probably come back and like, I'm like critique change. it, critique it. Yeah. But seven for me though. That's um, you didn't listen to Little Skies? No, I kind of stopped. I stopped listening. I don't know why. That kind of annoying. I liked it. Skies is cool. Is yeah. he, like he, I remember. I don't know if it was a mixtape or an album. I don't recall. It was like a dark cover. It was really nice and like I used to really like Little Skies. I used to slap him a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't know something about him just kind of. I got like I don't know. I didn't feel like playing him anymore. I don't know what it was. It was a good album. You should listen to it. It's like it's like his hype music. And then he has like his. Is it an album though? Yeah, pretty sure. Like his debut it's like album. Fourteen tracks. Is it a debut? Well, cause I don't. I don't, I don't keep up with them. I, I just know them. like I just listen to him. Listen to his mixtape. His, his, it's like a black cover. I forgot what it's called. Mm-hmm. Not look good though. It's yeah. the one with that rose song. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had it was hard. That's when I was like, God damn, all these so fire. But then after that, I was kind of like. Yeah. 
Um, you didn't listen to the baby, right? No, but I keep man. I'm hearing that Get buzz, it. bro. Is he new? It's the first time I've heard his name. I have no idea, bro, but I'm hearing that buzz. Yeah, I just peeped it this morning. It's really good. Like, give it a little light. light I think he disses little baby on it too. He disses little baby. Damn. He said, "I can only, I can be the only baby." Damn near. It's pretty much what he said. Damn near. Yeah. He said, "There can only be one baby around here. It's me." (laughs) (laughs) All right. I think that that was right. That was it. The new music. music. Yeah. Let's get into this. LeBron, you gonna you gonna you gonna hate on it? You gonna hate on it? The, the barbershop talk. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna hate it. Uh, what do you like about the people that they got on there? Like that, Jamie, Anthony Davis. Do you, do you think they the actually? Usual. Do you think they actually like pick and choose, or do you think they just get like a random collective of people? And just I think they pick around? and choose on depending on the topics that they're gonna talk about. Cause it seemed like and kind of hype. Cause it, yeah, do you, I feel like they just I don't know. Sometimes not always though. I don't know. Cause like last time they had Mary J. Blige. So like that's just hella random. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Bro, it's so weird watching Bron like cuss so much. Like, that was the first time people were going crazy on his first episode when really? he was saying the N word. Really? Yeah. People were like, what? Well, I mean, yeah. People people obviously, were... he does it behind closed doors, but it's like so weird because you see him like yeah. ESPN. He has to be all like formal and everything, and then uh-huh. he comes around here and he's like talking about his shit. like barbershop. Yeah, no, I real talk. So that I mean, I like that. I like that aspect of it. Like it is a barbershop. But you know what? These fools don't be getting covered. Shit. What do you mean? That's where they just be putting the cape on, and like they don't look like they hey, can that, cut. That's what uh, what was his name? What's the talk? Sh- uh, I think uh, <laughs> they got like a talk show host on there one time. He was like, "Are these real barbers?" Who or, was it? Uh, J- is it Jimmy? I think it was Jimmy, Jimmy. Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon. I think it was Fallon. James Corden. I think it was Fallon. Fallon? I think it was Fallon. Oh. <laughs> he was no, like, "Are these real barbers?" Well, they don't cut. <laughs> Like guess they put the cape on, on me. They they, he brought the big clippers out and like I me, they took it off and you didn't have nothing cut. I was like, what the, what they the do, hell? Is they, they, doing? they do do like a little snip. Yeah, snip. I was like, what are you guys doing? Like, what the hell? I think the first thing that caught my attention was uh, when uh, Chain said comedians are becoming ex- extinct. They're, they're going down, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't do. think they're becoming extinct, but I think <clears> it is like kind of messed up how in today's world they they can't say as much. Because like what Bron said, Bron was saying like the point of comedy is like. It's fun. I think it was Jamie that said it. it's fun to say something that, you, like you you usually can't get away with, like in real life, like because you go to a, a comedy show to like get away from everything, you know, mm-hmm. like forget about everything. Like you can say whatever here. Like it's no, uh, how do you say it? Like it ain't no fucking, like limit to what you can say. You can say whatever you want. Like, that is always one sided though. What do you mean? Like I'm, you, you see the heat that what's his name? Um, that white dude caught for saying that word. Okay, well, obviously, you can't be f-ing saying, like, racist ass shit. Like, what the f***? We gonna, we gonna bring up Dave? That's different, though. <laughs> Go on. Dave, but Dave made fun... Dave like, I'm, made, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to side Dave made fun of everybody, but... though. Yeah, that's he what not I mean. just He's he not he just does. targeting... Like, you just said the white person, like, they were strictly targeting, like, black people. Yeah. Dave made fun of his damn self. Like, he'll yeah. say whatever. Like, Dave makes fun of everybody. Like, yeah, everybody no, gets to it, Dave. Nothing's off limits. Bro, you see that shit he was even saying about OJ and everything in his Netflix special? Like, he just don't give a f- like, yeah, I, I mean, I agree with Chan with what Two Chain said. Like, I feel like they are getting extinct, but I don't feel like they're going extinct because they can't say as much. I think they're going extinct just because the quality's not there. I don't, know. I don't think it's that, bro. Because <coughs> real talk, if you go to, like, bro, they'll 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 find anything to like kill a comedian about these days. Like, they were trying to take Dave Chappelle down for the stuff. They're trying to take out Kevin. Yeah, of all take comedians, out Kevin, Kevin Hart. They're trying to take out of all comedians. Yeah, Dave, bro, like, what the hell? What are we doing? He here? tried with Dave. Dave, Dave was like, no, nah, Dave too. He can't take down Dave. Nah, <laughs> he don't, he don't <laughs> like, care. That's but that sucks, bro. That's so sad. Like they really can't. They probably don't even feel safe with with some of the stuff they say anymore, and that's sad. Mm-hmm. What about um? <laughs> so AD was talking about how uh about fans either wanting them or not. How they were like booing him. Stuff you already said. Like he went in and they booed him, and then he was making hella shots, and they started cheering. Oh yeah, he him. started making the comeback. Yeah, and then, and then yeah, what the hell? And he was like, "What y'all want? Like, what do you want from me?" It's true though. The fans are only on your side. It's not even, it's not even only with AD. It's happening with a bunch no, of it, yeah, no, it's it's what I'm saying. It's, the fans are only on your side when they have like control over you, like when they know you're on their team. When you have the option to make your own decision, that's when fans start tripping out and being like, "What the hell?" Like, Do you think? I feel like we never hear about like how the owners feel when um, players take a stance. When players take a stance. Yeah. Only sometimes, like only when Braun left Cleveland and when like what's his name? Remember when the, his owner? Uh, David Griffin. Yeah, how he went, like, he kind of went David off. Griffin. Not David Griffin, but yeah, the uh, the owner. Yeah, yeah. How he was Dan talking, Gilbert. how he was, yeah, he was like 
on Bron's head, talking about his family and everything. Yeah, he put out a letter. Remember when he left? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like yeah. some message. <clears throat> well, I had to apologize when he came back. <laughs> yeah, but <on> it, <laughs> yeah, but uh, you never hear from like what the how the owner feels. It's always like the fan. Well, how do you think they feel? I don't know. Like, Something do like it's confusing. Like, 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 oh, like, you, like, feel like it's a little, yeah, a little bit. Like a little bitter, like yeah, hella bitter. <clears throat> like I feel like once they try to leave, they try to like put try to put dirt on their name. You, you, yeah, you think they'll they will go around the league and be like, oh, he's not a good player. Like I feel like that's what owners do. I mean, they all that's kick it. Stuff. All the owners for sure kick it with each other. All right. What about um? How you feel about Braun when he was talking about like his homies? Like how he had like ten homies. How he had hey, five that awesome. died. Five, and then he had five other ones doing like other stuff. Started getting into some real shit there. But, you, all right, I, I got to say this about Braun right now. It is true, though, like what he was saying. He was just like, what did I do <clears throat> that didn't that I didn't end up on this side? You want to know, know what he did? What? Full grew to be 6'9". No, he said like they're all, they all played ball. That doesn't mean they're all his height. They could have been like... Some played pro, what do you mean? They could have been like six feet or something. Like, you, this was talking about... All right, I'm not trying to hate or anything. Like, I love Braun or whatever. But this was like... Constantly is t- talking about like, oh, I wasn't supposed to make it and everything. Like, okay, we get it, but he did grow to be like six nine. I mean, there's, two, st- there's still athletes pounds. that get that get caught up that but don't get on, caught up bro. though. I know, but come on, like, obviously you have a higher chance of being successful when you have like that much athletic ability. Am I am I am I wrong in saying that? I mean, you can yeah. have the skill and everything, but say you're like five ten and you're trying to hoop, mm-hmm. the chances are are slimmer than if you're six nine two forty. Freak of nature, like. I mean, yeah, but he wasn't always six nine two forty. Bro, he got he, he was like, smaller though. Bro, he was eighteen. At like eighteen, he was already like his, his his height right now. I know, but I think Braun still looks at it as he could have failed at eighteen. Like he could have like got too this caught up in the this, moment this and will, like this will been put on since like fifteen years old. Nah, he said since high school. Fifteen. Yeah. He said fifteen. Nah, he said sixteen. He said fifteen. Nah. Fifteen and a half. He said actually, like exactly fifteen and a half. But come on, bro. He grew to be 6'9", 250. You have way higher chance of being successful than everybody else. That's why I don't like when he's like, how, did, how was it me? How was I the one that like... Well, he could have gave up. I think his thing is he could have just gave up on basketball. He could have been like, nah. Nah, bro. Dude. I don't know. Well, this, that's kind of like stupid then. Like, yeah, I feel it. Because it's like, maybe your homies weren't as tall as you. Because, like, <laughs> no, in real talk, maybe they were only like 6'2 or 6'3 because then the chances are slimmer. Like, they had to be really good at that height. And LeBron's really good, and he's like that has the athletic ability already. So I think I think I started feeling with Braun when uh, he was talking about it, and it seemed like he is like kind of a survivor's mm-hmm. guilt. It seemed like that, hello, huh? Yeah, just for a little bit, and then they like they, yeah, they like kind of switched it, it off. Like, actually, yeah, I feel like he didn't want to go into do mm-hmm. too deep, but he yeah. yeah he um, said he got homies that he can't even call. Yeah, I was like, damn. Like, damn bro. I was like, I'm sorry for all this <laughs> talking. <you."> like, <laughs> <laughs> I think the next the next topic we talked about was uh, only friends and family money. That's so like, bro. How do you feel about that? It's true, but it just sounded so fucked up when Bronson. Yeah, said. why people try to like make it sound hella bad. <laughs> no, but they they sounded fucked up. He was, like, he was like, the best thing I did when I got my money was like to say no to my mom. And I was like, you That's what I was saying. Like he when he got his first check at 18, like his first big check, he could have just blown it. <laughs> yeah. But then he told his mom, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, you asshole. <laughs> I don't like how he tried to one up two chains, because two chains was like, oh, I just bought my mom a car. And LeBron was oh, like, no, no, because he was just... <laughs> but LeBron was like, oh, that ain't shit. Like, I just made her a house and shit. He didn't like, even say that. He was just saying, don't feel bad, because I just nah, now bought my mom a house. He's kind of one-upping him. Like, oh, oh, he was like, oh, that ain't shit. Like, I just bought her a house. Like, I just built it with my damn self. Like, I was like, damn, bro, chill. And two chairs like, side back. He's like, man, <laughs> but, uh, I, I really like the show, though. How did, I mean, like, how do you, how'd you feel about that? Like, do, do you... If you were to make it, do you really owe everyone who had your back? Do you owe them something? No. Mm. No. I think with me, it's more of I got your back. Like if you're if you're if you're if you're in my circle, like you're not gonna go broke, you're not gonna go homeless. <laughs> but you're just gonna give them. But, money I, but you're nothing? not gonna get. You're not gonna get for yeah, nothing. Like you, like I have your back. Like you're just not. Like I'm, you're not gonna struggle. Yeah. But I'm not gonna. Like, I'm not gonna we, buy you a house. Yeah, like that's, remember that's, that comedian that's, was talking about. He's like, yeah. I don't owe, owe my aunt two hundred fifty thousand dollars condo. Uh, condo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for giving me your couch. Yeah, that was hella funny, bro. That was hella funny. But uh, I I wouldn't give out money for free to like a homie. Mm-hmm. But I'll put him on. I'll be like, um, like, what do you want to do? Like, you trying to go to school or something? Like, like what is like you want to own a business? Like, I'll 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 invest. I wouldn't give out money for free. I would invest. Yeah. I would invest in like my homies. Like, I'll be like, go. I'm gonna give you some money. Go make some more money with it. Like, and that's gonna be yours. 
Mm-hmm. Like I'm pretty sure Bron did that with Maverick Carter and yeah, he did this with whole and squad. Rich Paul. Yeah, yeah, he gave him he like him, opportunity. Him yeah, and then they made their own money. Like they don't have to feel, bite off him or nothing. Like they got their own cash. Do you see uh you see Antonio Brown talking talking trash about uh Shannon? About and then Bron didn't say nothing. Well, Bron was like, <laughs> I thought Bron was gonna say something, but like, nah, he didn't say nothing. <laughs> but even Maverick Carter was saying <laughs> about Shannon. He agreed with Antonio. He's like, oh yeah, because when Antonio was saying. How you seen up there with the black and miles and the henny? Maverick Carter was like, yeah, I don't like that. Oh yeah, yeah, Bronx yeah. Like, oh, shit. Shannon, hello, like, funny though. He's like, it's a homie. Shannon, hello, funny. Shannon though. Hello I mean, funny. I think he just did that to like you know get himself away from every other the uh, spokesperson. The, the black and miles. Yeah, he just has he has a different personality. He, he thing. knows how to get in tune with the culture. Bro. Yeah, that's he, what I mean. Stupid, but what about uh? I think it's I think it was last week. I think it was last week we were talking about Kaepernick or two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. How like and then Antonio Brown's just kind of like the first example of uh, football players now like. Taking his, Stan- yeah. taking his Taylor stands on everything, yeah. Right now. And it's true what he was saying, like how when NFL players like retire from the game, like they just go into the they just go broke. A lot of them go broke. No, but they're in broadcasting. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm yeah, and then he was saying to LeBron, he's like, "What do NBA players do? Like NBA players, are like, well, they can stay rich as f- their whole lives. Like if you're smart about it, like yeah." LeBron might be flexed on him. Yeah, he did. He's like, I'm trying to buy a team. He was like, what are you trying to do after college? He's like, I'm trying to own a team. And everyone was just... <laughs> they were just like, yeah, see, they're... Like, fuck, fuck you, man. Uh, I think it was real uh, interesting what Antonio Brown said, how, how like, news gets around in the NFL. Like, it's never face-to-face. You, they, It's always tell someone. Yeah, talk, <clears throat> talking greasy behind them backs and just like... That shit fuck, man. NFL's tripping. Yeah. NFL wild, bro. That's why they're trying to get on the NBA level. Antonio Brown did call it the NFL an alpha male sport, though. Like, because no, yeah, because no, because it's not like the NBA. You yeah. don't have one player that could do everything. Yeah, yeah you remember LeBron yeah. saying he's like, I can go get a steal, I can go. Yeah, yeah he's like, I go force a rebound, I go get a rebound, go force a and steal, true, yeah. go make a point. You, you're yeah. running back, like you, you got the ball by yourself, like you on your mm-hmm. own. You got your. They got first, like. Defending you, but that's it. Quarterback, you on your own. What else was on here? Um, uh, how'd you talk? How'd you feel about the narrative? Brown was talking about uh, owners and media just always controlling the narrative. And KD's talked about this a lot. Um, I, I, I understand, like... Uh, like, he was saying players need to be more in control of the narrative. Yeah, I, don't, I understand why players get so mad these days because sometimes when an interview, like, comes, like, they they do ask them, like, some stupid-ass questions, bro. Like, what... Like, oh, like it's the stupidest shit. Like, I would be pissed too. Like, imagine if you lose and this mother comes out to you and asks you like some stupid ass question like that. And then they get mad. They get mad like, oh, he's lashing out. Like, oh, what's wrong with him? Like, he blah blah blah. You know how they say like ESPN? Like, mm-hmm. like they get all mad after a loss and stuff. Like, so it's stupid. Like, it should be more in the players' hands, bro. Like, let them do it with them, and then don't ask stupid ass questions. And then they pin it on them. Like, oh, you mad? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they do control the narrative, bro. That's why they get pissed when players have power to do whatever they want. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, <laughs> can we turn down? No. <laughs> uh, talk about Meek. Meek. Meek talked hella late. He talked hella late. Yeah, I was like, yeah, damn. So they were talking about his thing. Uh, when he was talking about on his probation, uh, police contact is a violation. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that like, at all. Being around police, like, yeah. what the hell? Like, what? Like, that's crazy, bro. Being, yeah, they really like, did him dirty, bro. Like, I liked how Jamie called it though. He's like, probation is a trick bag. It is, yeah. Once they get you in probation, like, you do, just... do, you, do you remember that Diddy, that uh, Diddy, that story he told that Jamie told about uh, uh the party? Yeah. Yeah. And how, yeah about how like and... how like he got a call. It's like, hey, your feds are watching. The feds are yeah, watching like, the party. The yeah, and he's like, for what? Like, that was really interesting because they're talking about like just artists being like targeted by police and like fe- yeah, feds bro, always. I guess. I thought it was just now because I know I've seen Joey talk about it. I've seen Joe Joe Budden talk about it, mm. and like Remy so, and all them. But what's the pattern though? It's only after African American athletes, <laughs> and artists. When did they do that to? Oh, the Jamie. I mean, the Jamie. Jamie said it's always been going on forever. Yeah, but do, do they do that to white artists? White no. Athletes? No. no. They, I doubt it. Feds know what they're doing. Uh, they targeting them, bro. They got too much power in their hands. They trying to take them down. I think the last, the last funny thing of that was uh, when J- uh, Jamie and Meek went to did something for Robert Kraft, and then uh, Jamie was like, "Meek, I want you wild out." Oh yeah, yeah. And he, yeah. I guess he was in front of hella billionaires, yeah. and he was um, what was he? He's about to do dreams and nightmares. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
And then Meek was like, nah, like, yeah, but, but, I ain't about to. <laughs> Jamie said they were going hard, though. He said they were getting into it. Yeah, Jamie said he was trying to turn Meek up. Yeah, but Meek yeah. was like, nah, like, new page. Yeah, he's like, nah, I ain't with it. <laughs> I don't know. It was cool, though. I liked yeah. the show, actually. I was hating on it at first. But it was, I know you were. That was cool. I, I got a few in the boardroom. Like, Durant. <laughs> Is that the one when they're at the desk? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I ain't going to peep that karaoke. Karaoke like trash. Bootleg. Yeah, bootleg. Yeah, that bootleg uh, <laughs> other one. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. Kind of copied Bron. All right. Um, you trying to talk about NBA? Yeah, we, we on Bron already. How you, how your Lakers look? I don't think we're making playoffs. I don't think, we're, make, out, I don't think we're making playoffs. Make There's no way. What do you mean? We have to win it. every single game. Can't miss a game at all. It's not happening. I'm not blaming Bron. Already they I'm not said, blaming Bron, though. No, oh, no, I'm not blaming Bron. No. I'm blaming Luke. Well, I kind of am blaming Bron. I'm blaming Luke for his trash, for his, his trash his, uh, his lineups. Fault. His Luke's fault, then? Yeah. That's not even fair. So many, I've been saying this since, so beginning of this, since the beginning of the season. Bro, Luke so does not many, know how to, so how to put in good lineups. What do, you, what do you want him to do, bro? From the start, he had he two know. or three players out of the starting lineup. Lonzo, <clears throat> Kuzma, and Ingram. Yeah, that's bad. So how do you expect him to find out how, which lineup works like after the midseason is already like done? Like They're already halfway through the season. Also, how do you expect him to just pick out some shit out of his ass? Not even now. No, I meant since the like, beginning of the season. Luke is not a good that, coach. But, Luke has not, not been good at lineups. That's not fair. Though. This squad's way different than last year. Nah. They got Rondo this year. They got LeBron. They got uh, Michael Beasley, who didn't even see any minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, JaVale McGee. Who else? Lance Stevenson. How do you expect him to, to put five new players into a lineup? Like, of course he has to figure it out. Obviously, this first year was yeah, going to be like that, bro. You know? I think he he's has getting to fired, though. Works. Oh, he's getting fired for sure. Yeah. I don't know. If, it's it's Jason Kidd. I want Jason Kidd. You guys should get Mark Jackson, honestly. Oh, Mark, Mark Jackson. Be, Mark or, would be cool. Yeah, Mark, Mark, would be Mark nice. or Jason Kidd would be. Yeah, be Mark would be cool. nice. I don't know. I man. wish David Fisdale would go to Lakers. I still. Got, I know he's on with the Knicks, but I still got. I still got hope. I think we'll make playoffs. What? Yeah, bro, it's over already. It's you, my team. It's my team. But you know it's over. You're not making it. Like, no, it's they already good. said this. You guys aren't making it. No, it's good. They Memphis. already. They're, they're bro. They already surrendered. They, they already said LeBron's gonna get less minutes. Bro, I saw yesterday we had Bron and then we had Alex Caruso. We had hell like third strings. I was like, bro, <laughs> what are you? What are you expecting to do? They're missing Kuzma. They're missing Ingram, yeah. Lonzo. Actually, Lance was out yesterday too. I think mm-hmm. or two days ago. Like, what do you want Luca to do, bro? What? What the? F- do you want him to do? He's throwing nah. out everybody that he can. Like, what do you want him to do? Nah. I wonder why Ty- Tyson Chandler hasn't really gotten any minutes. Uh, he hasn't played that much recently. I think it's because Javale. There's a bunch of beef with Javale. Bro, Javale you know, wanted minutes you, and you stuff. You want to know the one constant thing about the Lakers this whole season? What? JaVale McGee, bro. I don't know mean? one bad thing about him, said. I don't know all... Ah, uh, yeah, he was the reason we traded uh, Zubak. Okay, but Because no. Zubak was taking okay, his minutes. But, okay, but what the f- Why are you going to listen to the player? Like, like JaVale, shut your ass up. Like, that was Magic. Magic Johnson's stupid as oh, yeah, I blame Magic, too. He's Magic stupid. Hasn't like, been why doing would you anything. give it to JaVale and be like, okay, we'll trade him away? Like, what the f***? Like, uh, like, I like Reggie Bullock, though. But I like them more when Reggie he was with the Clippers. Reggie trash since you guys picked him up. Yeah, I like them on the Clippers, though. Great trash, bro. He was cool. He has, he's not making shit. Yeah, and nah. he's a vet. Mm-hmm. He's not making shit. I don't know, man. Sad, bro. I'm, I'm not making playoffs. Like, he's already confirmed. Like, you care. guys cannot make playoffs. It would be a dangerous spot. They already said LeBron's not going to be playing heavy minutes no more. Like, there's no point. Talk about it. LeBron don't need to. He already got the. He already got that new record. Yeah. But you guys won yesterday, though? No, we got whooped. Uh, <laughs> Did got you see Rondo sitting at the end of the bench? Got what? Rondo? Yeah, you didn't see him? Oh, with the fans? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, bro. That was the Ronaldo. Just smack him in the head. I'm like, get your ass over there. On the bench, though. So you guys think you... Is this what you were expecting into the season, or do you think you underachieved? Like, in the uh, season, if Ron didn't get hurt, we would be in playoffs, but, yeah. Would did I rate you, the season? Did you think they underachieved them? I mean, absolutely. Are you disappointed? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Right. I so think Bron, I think Bron should have. Because they could have made playoffs. They, bro, if they really tried, they could have. But I'm also taking injured. into account that a lot of players were injured. Yeah, we got hella injured. So it's not even like... If we get injured that bad, we'd be cool. Well, Lonzo's pretty injury prone, bro. Ever since he entered the league last year, he's... Mm-hmm. He has he's a bad getting, ankle. Yeah, he's getting injured a lot. You gotta get bigger. You gotta get stronger, bro. You gotta put that little injection in that LeBron be using. Chill, what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm getting away from that. <laughs> Who's your rookie of the year? Uh, Luca, for sure. Luca. I don't know. Trey's I think, been doing pretty good. I think I'm on the Trey hype. Nah, because Trey hype only started after All Star break. He can't. 
can't do that. That's not fair. Mm. That's like 20 something gays. Yeah, but I haven't heard anything from Luke. Luca. Just because he's just doing the regular shit that he always does. Like, he just do he just balling, bro. I don't know. Trey's nice. But Trey's they, were, they were hating on Trey at the beginning of the year. He's like, oh, you fucking bust. Like, fucking banging threes now, like a real G. Like, you banging him from deep. Bro, Trey nice. Been saying this shit, bro. Trey. Well, yeah, that's OP. Trey nice. You think he could be I the think, uh, I think for my number three is uh, Bagley. Bagley? Yeah, I think he's, he's my number three. Huh? That's fing not playing. Yeah. yeah. He's not playing no more. He's like my number three. Yeah, nah, know. he's playing. No, DeAndre. No, he's not playing. Is he not? Yeah, he got injured. He's out for the season. Damn. Well, because there's only like 20 years old. Mm. I think DeAndre Ayton's the third for me. Yeah. Heard he been hooping. <coughs> like, hooping, hooping. I don't know, bro. For sure going to Luka, though. Did you see that? Did you see Bogut going to the Warriors, bro? Bogut's wag, man. Nah, no, bro. I'm telling you. like Bogut's the one that be in, trying to injure people. No, that was Zaza. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. All right. I, I, I mean, it wasn't. He wasn't doing that, though. He wasn't, he wasn't doing that. I was just saying, I felt right, like I knew what I don't hate Bogut, then. You, you what? I don't hate Bogut. Yeah, Bogut was on the Lakers for like, He helped y'all out for a bit. I don't like Zaza. That's fine. Zaza was pretty solid for us, though. Nah, like, we miss Zaza now. But we're going to be so good now. Like, bro, the Warriors, like, haven't had, like, like, much motivation to, like, play right now. But this, like, Bogut coming back, you know how happy Steph Curry's going to be, like... Bro, bro that's 37. Book it? Yeah. No, like 35. Nice, nah, 37. 35. Ooh. 30, Swear. 37. It doesn't matter. We don't want we don't need him to play heavy minutes anyways. You, you're oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, 35, 35. see? That's I'm pretty good. Back. We we just need him to play like 10 minutes a game, bro. Or when Boogie gets in foul trouble, come in. Like, I because, realize I just realized y'all bench ain't, ain't that good. It's not that we're just we have like four centers for some reason, and we only have like two extra wings. It is different. Like know. Kevon's out, uh, our Damian Jones is out, so all we have is is Boogie right now. Mm. You know what I mean? <coughs> all we got is Boogie. And I wonder how y'all doing playoffs. We'll see. We're gonna be, we're gonna be solid, bro. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna make it to the final. We can tell you that. Shit. All right. You want to get into this five G or not? Nah? I didn't I didn't read up on it. I tried to read up on it like this morning. And I was like, yeah, we'll do a quick touch up. We'll talk. About it. It's kind of funny. It's the, just four G. Conspiracy but talk what? is hella funny. It's just 4G, but like a step up? Is yeah, it's pretty much just a step up of 4G. Uh, Like some download speeds, that'd be cool. Or like some cool shit from it. Is, but what's, uh, the, what's the hype around it? What's the, what are you talking about? One gigabyte like, per second. Wait, what? Like we get like, you can download a gigabyte per second. No way. Damn. A whole like, ass gigabyte? Yeah, because I guess like all the like weight, because you, you know like, yeah. about, like there's just a bunch of waves yeah, and like little like things like that. So I guess it's like going to shrink. Oh, shit. Like yeah. more things get tra- uh, transported. Yeah, because you were hyping this shit. The like, weirdest thing I read about it, though, was... So there's something called Internet of Things that, like, is trying to make so we can communicate with machines and machines can communicate with machines. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Sounded like some AI, some, some AI stuff. Oh, that, no. <laughs> what, is it? what does AI say for aug- augmented Art- intelligence or something? Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. <laughs> yeah, it just sounded like some AI stuff. And, like, I guess this makes them, like, get to a closer... Cause it gets, helps them get closer to like what to that pretty much. Damn, that's scary, bro. And they're trying to get it, get it by twenty twenty. That's some Terminator shit. Those kind of. Bro, yeah, watch Terminator. Uh, it's no one clear though what it's actually gonna look like. But is this already out or are they? Nah, nah, nah they're right? just working on it. Oh. I think. Have you any, have you heard about any conspiracies of it? No. Conspiracies are hella funny, bro. This, bro. bro, the like, conspiracy was hella funny. Yeah, people, so people in uh, Oregon were like, "This is the kind of stuff that ha- that makes people like, literally have heart attacks Why? and die from." What? Yeah, bro, they they protested like their first five G tower in Oregon. <laughs> I guess hella teachers and like you know parents what they're like protesting protested. because they're trying to make artificial intelligence thing. If, like people who watch Terminator, like me, like we know we know with that. Can't be scared of artificial intelligence. That's, that's scary, bro. You see the robots that that one company makes, Boston something, yeah, Boston the, Dynamics, the one that jumps and everything. Bro, that's scary. That's still like that that. beat your ass. Like <laughs> you put some boxing gloves on it, like it's over. Just pour some water on it. Nah, fam, they think about it. Nah, they think about that too, bro. They always oh, move work crazy. And then there's like, you've heard about like phones giving us cancer and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like they think this five uh, G is gonna make it worse. Um, it's stronger, like. Yeah, just stronger like wave wavelengths and stuff like that, and yeah, then they're like so. some some parents think it's gonna be it's like government's mind control. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, there is no scientific evidence behind them though. Like, 
they're just they're just wilding out. They're just wilding out. Uh-huh. I mean, that kind of that makes sense about the cancer thing, because if it is, like, I do get the cancer thing, thing, but apparently there's because that's already kind of true. Like, but there's really never just been any like scientific evidence no, of that. I don't think anybody's like it's just been like like died specifically from mm-hmm. getting cancer from your phone. I mean. mm-hmm. And then even said like wave the the wave the the broadcast towers, they're like really safe. They're like below safety limits and everything. Yo. Alex Jones, you know, you know, Alex Jones Alex. had something to say about this. <laughs> Alex Jones, is he was the one that started pushing uh, the whole mind control thing. Like this, oh, like this is the the government's way of uh, global control. Damn, do we believe it? I don't. Nah. Four G is the same. No. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the stronger. same thing. It's just a stronger, the just hey, stronger four G. What do you expect? We ain't trying to go down. We trying to go up. Uh. Apparently, they try to like connect it 5G to I guess 100, 100 birds randomly died in the Netherlands. Whoa, hold up, that changes a lot. You like, didn't tell me that before. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? That's kind of scary. But 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 then that got exposed because apparently the birds died or like the bird, the, the hundreds of birds died before the tower the, the even the got tower put up. Was... Yeah. But still, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of scary. And like the video went viral on Facebook, I guess. So Yo. like it caught up to so it caught some stuff. It's kind of scary, bro. But I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I f- this 5G shit. I think the only last thing, the last funny thing was uh the smart meters. They think 5G is going to be connecting to like all kinds of like um, networks. I guess. Yeah, like smart meters. And they think that's how they're going to spy on us. Uh, well, they already did that. I'm shit, saying. Even that little camera you got right there. They even show spy on us. Oh, no, bro. I, I got put a, a sticker. Bro, my mom put a little sticker on our, on our desktop shit in the hallway. We you know oh. that shit, bro. No. Hey, Gary, bro, they really be doing that shit. Feds be watching. Even through this phone right here, bro. They will. The camera. Yeah, real talk. They will. Got my fucking FBI agent on the other line. Let's be watching them. This one, this one uh, anti-5G activist said uh, she's experiencing yeah, negative health effects from shit. smart meter. What the fuck? <laughs> bro, that's just trying to get paid. She's that's trying, what I was saying. Like. As soon it. as I read it was an anti-5G activist, I was like, bro, she's trying to get a bag. Yeah, she's trying to get the bag. She's like, I'm going to sue y'all ass. <laughs> I ain't mad at it though. Get yeah. your money, honey. Besides that. Yahweh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we done. <laughs> yeah, we good. Alright, yeah, we're good for the week. Alright, so we're uh, done then. Go check out our SoundCloud. Call, uh, no same name, No Procrastination. The put on playlist. Yeah, you can Don't check it out Put on Playlist. Put the link in the bio. Mm hmm. Alright. Ready? Deuce. Psychedelic flow. I'm the dope and the antidote. Fade down the street from the package dope. What you know? Going back and forth. 